let's take a look at how to multiply numbers up to a thousand ending in zeros. Okay, well, when you're multiplying with numbers that are ending in zeros, this one has a really nice pattern that helps us with our mental math. So I want you to think about this for a second. Before we get to this problem, I just want you to think about um, multiplying by 10. If I were to say two times 10, well, two times 10 gives me 20. So notice it still has the same two and I just add a zero to it. If I were to say three times 10, well, three times 10 is 30. So it's the exact same three and I just add a zero to it. Now this works anytime you're multiplying by 10, you add a zero. Even if I were to say 100 times 10, well, 100 times 10 would be 1,000. Notice that has three zeros, right? So the two zeros from this hundred and the one from here, there's three zeros on my answer. So anytime you're multiplying by 10 or a factor of, or something that has factors of 10, like a hundred or a thousand or even a million, if we've got that big into our numbers here, you can always say, well, however many zeros there were on the end of those numbers, it doesn't work if zero is the middle number or anything like that. When those numbers end in zero, I can just add up how many zeros were at the end of each number and put them on my answer. So for example, if I were to have 20 times 10, I could say, okay, well, two times one is two, and there were one, two zeros, so there's gonna be one, two zeros on my answer. So 20 times 10 would give us 200. Okay, so let's see if we can use this rule of kind of putting the zeros on our answer to give us some nice mental math with 20 times 40. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could write them out the long way and do two digit multiplication, but multiplying with numbers that have zeros on the end, it's really much quicker if you use this mental math rule to make your math so much easier than having to write it out and do the two digit multiplication way of, the, of solving this problem. Not that it's wrong, there's nothing wrong with it, but this is gonna be quicker and easier. So if you learn it, it's gonna help you with lots of problems moving forward. Okay, so I have 20 times 40. Now notice both of those numbers end in zero. So I'm gonna take the first digits, two times four, and multiply that together. Two times four is eight. And then I'm gonna add up the total number of zeros I had after either number and put them on my answer. Well, there were two zeros, right? One here and one here. So if there were two zeros on the end in the numbers I was multiplying, there's gonna be two zeros on the end in my answer. So I would say 20 times 40 is 800. Right, that was much quicker than writing it out to do our two digit multiplication rule. 80 times 90. Okay, well again, notice both of these numbers end in zero. So to make it easy mental math, I'm simply gonna multiply eight times nine. Well, eight times nine is 72. And then there's one, two zeros at the end in the numbers I'm multiplying. So there's also gonna be two zeros at the end in my answer. So 7,200. Ten times 100. Okay, well both of these numbers have zeros. So if I multiply the first digits, right, the one times one, that's gonna give me one. And then notice there's one, two, three zeros between those two numbers. So there's gonna be also three zeros on our answer. So that gives us 1,000. Ninety times fifty. Okay, well they both end in zero. So I'm gonna say nine times five. Okay, that's forty-five. And then just count how many zeros, right? There's one, two zeros in the number at the end of the numbers I'm multiplying. So there's gonna be those same two zeros on the end of my answer. So four thousand five hundred. Ninety times forty. Okay, well they both end in zero. So I'm 
So we can think of this as nine times four, right? That's just 36. And then there's two zeros in the numbers I'm, at the end of the numbers I'm multiplying, right? One here and one here. So those two zeros are gonna be on the end of my answer, 3,600. Sixty times twenty. Okay, well they end in zero, so we can think of this as six times two is twelve, and there's two zeros at the end of those numbers we're multiplying, so we're gonna have those same two zeros on my answer, twelve hundred. One hundred times twenty. Okay, well think of this as one times two, that gives us two. And then there's one, two, three zeros all together at the end of those numbers we're multiplying. So we're gonna have the same three zeros on our answer. So this would be 2,000. 100 times 80. Okay, well one times eight gives us eight. And then there's one, two, three zeros at the end of the numbers we're multiplying. So there's gonna be one, two, three zeros in our answer, 8,000. 50 times 30. Okay, well five times three is 15. And there's two zeros, right? One here and one here. So we're gonna have two zeros at the end of our answer, 1,500. 10 times 30. Okay, well one times three is three. There's two zeros at the end, so there's gonna be two zeros at the end of our answer, 300.